guys, in case you're new to this channel, my name is Hamad Benesha. I'm the founder of undoit.ca. In this channel, I talk about MacBooks, MacBooks repairs, everything to do with MacBooks. I'm located in Toronto, Canada, downtown next to the Sin Tower. And I have been in the business for over 20 years. I'm also an Apple certified technician and I only fix MacBooks, nothing else. So if you haven't done it yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Well, hi guys, today we're going to talk about uh, data recovery on MacBooks. Uh, this is a MacBook Pro uh, model A1708. This MacBook has had some liquid damage, as you can see here with the red dot over here. The problem is that this CPU is dead. The CPU is dead, it was short, it's short, okay? So unless we replace the, um, the logic board or the CPU, which is totally not worth it, um, the, the person cannot recover the data. But the good thing about this model is that the hard drive is still removable. I will show you in a minute how to um, to, to remove it and how to access the data. But I just want to mention something quickly and briefly about the uh, about, uh, recovery. Um, again, always look for your model number. Okay, it's written underneath the MacBook. On the first line, there's always the model number. Okay, this is model A1708. MacBooks from 2011, uh, 2012, uh, with that um, Retina, used to have a hard drive like this, which are were also removable. So let's say if the MacBook were completely dead, we just remove the hard drive, we use a cable, plug it in as an external hard drive, and we recover the data. That also applied from the 2013 to 2015, whether it's a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, we just, you know, we would remove the, the hard drive, plug it into a connector like that, and then we would just, you know, use it as an external hard drive to access the data. So from 20, 20, uh, 20, uh, 2008 to, to, 20, to 2017, the, um, it was not a big deal. Even if the machine is completely dead, we can still recover the data. So in this particular model, we can, as we show you in a minute, in 1708, you can remove those two screws, take off the hard drive, okay? And um, for the 2016 and 2017, with the touch bar, still, still we can still recover the data. Even though the hard drive is soldered on, on the, um, the logic board, Apple put uh, this uh, connector here, live board over here. So we would just remove those two screws and we put in a special connector and we can actually access the, 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 the data. So that's up to 2017. So if you have a MacBook up to 2017 that had a major issue, there is chances we can still recover the data. Now having said that, after 2018, it's very important. If you have a MacBook that's after 2018, the, the jack I just showed, showed you, the, the lifeboat jack I just showed you, has been removed. You see, it would, it would have been here. This is a 2018 model. So 2018 uh, onward, so 19, 20, 21, 22, if the, this is a liquid damage, if the CPU is dead or anything, the MacBook doesn't turn on anymore, there is no data recovery. You cannot recover the data unless the, the board is, is brought back to life. The board has to work and the MacBook has to boot. Okay, so be very um, careful if you have a 2018 model or newer, make sure you always, always back up. Okay, you cannot take a chance. Okay, now having said that, this is again a 2017 model and 2016 exactly the same. So to recover the data, even though this MacBook is completely dead, so all I gotta do is just, I'm gonna remove the hard drive yeah, sure, it's done, it's very easy. Um, you gotta remove those two screws, okay? Like that, and then you push, pull towards like this, gently pull the hard drive out, okay? So this, this MacBook's dead, I have a working machine, exactly the same, it's 1708. There it is, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug in this hard drive. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do, be very, very careful, do not unplug or plug in the hard drive before removing the battery. Okay, because you could easily short. I've had one client who put in the new hard drive, didn't unplug it, and it actually killed the CPU. So, be, be aware and be careful of that. So I'm gonna remove the battery. Okay, 
Now I can remove the hard drive. And I've got to clean the other hard drive. There you go. And that's how you recover the data on, on a dead E1708. So now we're going to turn it on. Okay, I'm going to press option here to make it a bit faster. There you go, so it detected the hard drive. Okay, now what I gotta do is just go to the to the Mac OS. Okay, I'm gonna log in. Can I turn off uh, these slides over here? Okay, I'm gonna log in. I'm not gonna do it right now because of you know privacy uh, information of the client. But yeah, so I'm, I'm back to normal and I will just you know go to the Mac OS. Okay, and this client only wants you want, only wants just the data on the desktop. So all I all I do is just I will use an external hard drive. Okay, and then it's just, you know, copy and paste whatever was on the desktop. So that's how you recover the data on a MacBook Pro 2016, 2017 without a touch bar. Again, please remember that if you have 20 a MacBook, that's 2018, whether it's a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, 2018 or newer, make sure you always back up because if you spill liquid or if the hard drive, uh, sorry, is the, the logic board die for any reason, there is no data recovery on those machines. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, it's important. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you are located in Canada, and uh, keep watching. If you need the help, um, it's the, the, the instructions coming up. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. The process is very easy whether you're looking in Toronto or anywhere in Canada, just visit andoit.ca, click here to get a quote, or you can also click on the menu here, get a free quote, it's the same link. There is nine different categories, so try to select the one that best apply to you. In this example, I'm just going to click on my screen is black, and uh, let's assume my screen goes black when I tilt it. So I can, you can either get a free quote online, or you can also call if you prefer. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to click on get a free quote, fill up the form and just click on submit form. When you click on submit form, this is what I receive on my hand. And as you can see, we do receive a lot of requests. Uh, actually, 90% of our business is uh, shipped to us now from all over Canada. So you can rest assured that we know what we're doing. Uh, so I read it, I analyze it, and then I send an email with a quote uh, with all the option to the client. And if you decide to ship it, you just click uh, here to select your shipping option, and then you'll receive a shipping label. As soon as your MacBook is fixed, you will receive an email with pictures showing your MacBook repaired, your invoice, and how to proceed with the payment by credit card. As soon as the payment is made, we'll send it back to you. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to receiving your MacBook. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.